Hey friends, welcome. Today we are going to discuss uh, the comparison between uh, Maxwell Boltzmann, Bose Einstein, and Fermi Dirac statistics. So uh, these are the three statistics uh, which we are discussing under the statistical thermodynamics. And this video will be basically the comparison, or if we may write it as difference also. That is difference between all these three. So the first point. Uh, let me write it. Maxwell Boltzmann. Bose Einstein and Fermi Dirac. So the first point of difference is that the Maxwell Boltzmann statistics was given before the advancement of quantum statistics or quantum chemistry or quantum mechanics, and hence uh, this is known or it is also known as a classical statistics, while Bose-Einstein and Fermi-Dirac statistics, uh, they were given much after the advancement of quantum mechanics and both these statistics, they are commonly known as quantum statistics. Okay, the second point of comparison is that in case of Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution, as it was given before the advancement of quantum uh, quantum statistics, the spin of the particles that are considered can have any value. So over here, spin it can any value. Whereas in case of Bose-Einstein statistics, particles those having only integral spins are considered, and these particles having integral spins they are known as bosons so um, generally bosons and they have integral spin that is 0 1 2 3 and so on and few examples of uh, bosons uh, they are hydrogen deuterium then nitrogen then helium so these are some of the particles having integral spin uh, moving on to the Fermi Dirac statistics, the particles uh, in case of Fermi Dirac statistics, the particles having half integral spin. So, uh, the particles like we have spin have 1 by 2, or particles have spin 3 by 2, or particle having spin 5 by 2 are taken up in Fermi Dirac statistics, and the particles are known as the fermions and few of the examples of, of fermions uh, they are yeah one more uh, example i have forgot over here uh, that is photons so photons are also bosons now in fermions uh, we have protons then electrons uh, then we have he3 there is 3 helium and nitrous oxide so these are some of the particles uh, which follows the fermi Dirac statistics now moving on to the third point of comparison uh, that is in case of maxwell boltzmann statistics the particles are identical and they are distinguishable so over here the particles they are identical and they are distinguishable whereas in case of um, both einstein and fermi dirac statistics the particles they are identical and they are not distinguishable for example uh, suppose we are taking two balls of different colors so uh, or say particles a and b so these particles a and b they are identical but they are distinguishable so uh, this constitutes an example wherein if suppose we take two particles labeled as a then they are identical as well as non-distinguishable then moving on to the next point of the difference uh, that is in case of uh, maxwell boltzmann distribution statistics no restriction is imposed no restriction in filling up of the particles in different states or in a given state wherein uh, whereas in case of bose einstein also there is no restriction imposed on filling of the particles while the particles which obeys the Fermi Dirac statistics, they basically follow the Pauli's principle of exclusion. There can be only, only one particle in particular quantum 
there could be only one particle in a particular quantum state they obey the principle of Pauli's exclusion okay now let us understand this by taking an example uh, that is suppose over here in case of Maxwell Boltzmann we have identical particles and they are distinguishable uh, so suppose again we are taking that we are having two particles that is a and b and these particles are to be distributed amongst two energy levels so the distribution will be given in this particular manner uh, that is there would be four possible distribution we can write a b b a then a b and a b so these are the four possible ways in which two particles can be distributed in two energy states whereas and over here there is no restriction in post while in case of uh, both einstein statistics again uh, the particles are identical so we are considering that a a are the two particles and uh, suppose if we have uh, two energy again so over here the number of states possible uh, will be there will be three states possible uh, that is a a then we have both the a's over here and both the a's in this so there are three states possible or there are three micro states possible and when we look at the Fermi Dirac statistics then in case of Fermi Dirac statistics also the particles are identical and there is restriction that is in a particular quantum state there can only be one particle so this is the only possible way we can arrange the two particles in two different energy levels okay now one more point which is related to this that is when we exchange the particles then in case of Maxwell Boltzmann statistics new microstate is obtained so new microstate is obtained when we interchange the particles between the phase cells or uh, between the two energy states then new microstate will arise so suppose uh, we take this particular so a b and we can interchange it as it as b a so this gives the new or formation of new microstate but in case of Bose Einstein and Fermi Dirac statistics as the particles are identical and non distinguishable no new microstate will arise when we interchange when we interchange the particles okay then moving on to the next point uh, that is now in case of Maxwell Boltzmann statistics the size of each cell in the phase space is arbitrary the so size of cell in phase space is arbitrary and as the size is arbitrary we have uh, I am merging the two points over here so as the size of the cell in the phase space is arbitrary then any number of a uh, phase cell in a given volume of any number of so as the size is arbitrary so as the size of the cell in the phase space is arbitrary any number of cells may be present in a given volume in the phase space whereas in case of Bose Einstein and Fermi Dirac statistics size of each cell each cell is fixed and it is definite and as the size of the cell is fixed the number of phase cells uh, that is number of phase cells in the phase space that is in a given volume so number of phase cells in a given volume is also fixed so number of uh, phase cells which are present in a given volume is also fixed and generally the value of the phase cells for uh, both Einstein and Fermi Dirac statistics it is given by H Q. okay this is our sixth point now moving on to the few of the important points between Bose Einstein Maxwell Boltzmann and Fermi Dirac statistics the thermodynamic probability that is number of ways in which the particles can be arranged in given energy states uh, that is the thermodynamic probability and generally we write thermodynamic probability by w so thermodynamic probability for maxwell boltzmann in many books it is written w in many books it is written p so in maxwell boltzmann it is given as n factorial 
into capital pi i g i raised to n i upon n i factorial. So this is the thermodynamic probability uh, when we are looking at Maxwell Boltzmann distribution while the thermodynamic probability in case of uh, Bose Einstein uh, it is given as W of Bose Einstein uh, that will be equal to capital pi i n i plus g i minus i sorry minus 1 upon n i factorial into g i minus 1 factorial. So this is the expression for thermodynamic probability when we are looking at Bose Einstein statistics and the thermodynamic probability when we are discussing the Fermi Dirac statistics it is given as capital pi i g i factorial upon n i factorial into g i minus n i factorial okay so these are the thermodynamic probabilities and n i we know they are the number of particles and g i is the statistical weight factor or it tells us about the degeneracy of a particular energy state okay so the next point of comparison is its uh, final expression uh, which gives the number of particles in the ith state and for maxwell boltzmann the number of particle in ith state it is given by ni into gi e raised to alpha plus beta ei for so this will be our Maxwell Boltzmann, this will be our Bose Einstein and this will be our Fermi Dirac. So for in case of Bose Einstein statistics, uh, the number of particle that is Ni, it is given as Gi upon e raised to alpha plus beta Ei minus 1 and for Fermi Dirac it is given as Ni is equal to Gi upon e raised to alpha plus beta ei plus 1 okay so these are the three expressions or three final expressions of on the three statistics which we are looking at and in all these three we may note that the only difference is that in case of Bose Einstein and Fermi Dirac in Bose Einstein we have minus 1 and in Fermi Dirac we have plus 1 the rest all the everything is same and these expressions can be rearranged in the form uh, that is ni upon gi is equal to 1 upon e raised to alpha plus beta ei uh, and this expression we can write it as ni upon gi plus 1 is equal to 1 upon e raised to alpha plus beta ei and this expression ni upon gi minus 1 that is equal to 1 upon e raised to alpha plus beta ei okay so over here this ni upon gi it gives the relative population of different particles in a given energy state and it is also known as occupation index it is also known as occupation index and over here it will be very interesting to know that if the temperature is not too low or if the pressure is not too high so if we have ambient temperature and ambient pressure then at that time the number of energy states or the statistical weight factor gi it is very very large as compared to the number of particles okay and hence when we take the ratio one more thing uh, this can be written i can inverse this and write the expression that is i can write it as gi upon ni is equal to e raised to alpha plus beta ea this will be gi upon ni plus 1 is equal to e raised to alpha plus beta ea and this will be gi upon ni minus 1 is equal to e raised to alpha plus beta ea okay so over here when the temperature and the pressure is not too high at that time the number of energy states that is gi is very very large as compared to the number of particles ni and hence this ratio that is gi upon ni will be very very greater than 1 and when this is very very greater than 1 then the 
terms that is this particular term and this particular term we can write it almost equal to this term that is gi upon ni plus 1 is almost equivalent to gi upon ni minus 1 that is almost equivalent to gi upon ni because as this is very very large under such circumstances or when this is very very large then what will happen that is uh, then this value will be very very large or this is very very small and gi upon ni is a very very huge value so when this is very very huge value if we add one or if we subtract one there won't be any difference and hence uh, they will be almost equivalent to gi ni so hence thus for an appropriate condition we may say that the under normal or when normal gases exist uh, they follow the classical statistics is adequate to describe the behavior so all this that is when uh, under normal condition the bose einstein statistics and the fermi dirac statistics will be almost same as the maxwell boltzmann statistics and all the gases which exist at the room temperature that is at ambient temperature and pressure they follow Maxwell Boltzmann statistics. Now, over here, there are few exceptions also uh, which do not follow uh, the Maxwell Boltzmann statistics under ambient condition. Uh, one of the example is black body radiations, black body radiation, then next is the liquid helium. So, liquid helium is also very, very, very low temperature, and then free electrons, free electrons in metals so these are the three exceptions which are exceptional case at ambient temperature or at room temperature rest all the gases or liquids which we take they will follow the maxwell boltzmann statistics okay uh, so the coming on to the last point of this particular discussion we may look into the plots or we may look into the graphs of the relative population that is ni upon gi versus the energy and uh, these are the three graphs this is for maxwell boltzmann uh, this is for bose einstein and this is for the fermi dirac statistics now over here in case of maxwell boltzmann statistics as the temperature increases the decrease in the relative population say 1000 5000 and 10000 kelvin it decreases exponentially okay because as the temperature will increase and as the energy will increase the relative occupation of different particles at different energy levels will start reducing because more and more particles will be in the higher energy level and this gives us the relative population or the occupancy index so occupancy index will uh, reduce as the more and more number of the particles will be in a particular state or say at the higher state and hence uh, it will or the graph will show a fall okay when we look at the bose einstein statistics at uh, say 10000 kelvin there is almost a linear decrease or the decrease is say at 10000 is exponential while at 1000 and 5000 kelvin the decrease is linear that is as the energy is increasing the occupation index or the relative distribution of the particle is reducing linearly up to certain extent and after that it is showing a uh, exponential behavior while in case of fermi dirac statistics we know that in a particular state particle can occupy a single particular state and hence the occupation index over here is always unity and it cannot be greater than unity so at any temperature when you look at zero degree kelvin thousand five thousand uh, the occupation index is unity and as the energy increases the occupation index it decreases and uh, we may say that this converges at 0 0.5 or half uh, the occupation index and it reduces as the energy increases that is initially or the total occupation is unity and then it decreases as energy at a particular temperature it increases so these are these were the points of difference between the maxwell boltzmann bose einstein and fermi dirac statistics hope the video is clear thank you very much